Hello YouTube. Narian Mar is the center of and the only city in the Nenets at Anamas area. This remote region is located within the Arctic Circle, practically on the Arctic Ocean. Its indigenous population are the Nenets, a nation of nomads and reindeer herders. And in my previous videos, I have talked about them and their land. Translated from Ninets, the name Narian Mar means Red City. The Ninets autonomous area is the only place in Europe where a local indigenous nomadic people have preserved their centuries-old way of life. Here, tourists see the real, not reconstructed or digitized, life of nomads and visit the most sparsely populated part of Russia. Sometimes it seems that academic history is bursting at seams from objectionable artifacts. Moreover, most often in recent years, discoveries that do not fit into the canons of traditional worldviews are made by academic scientists themselves. Here's a fresh example from Narian Mar. As we are reminded by febrile media due to global warming, Permafrost is retreating and exposes areas of the earth that were previously under a layer of ice. This happens everywhere and Narian Mar is no exception. In June of 2020, an event took place here that still raises more questions than it answers. In the thawed territories, local residents discovered strange soil, unusual for this lands. It consists of a high content of cumulus and fertile black soil. In classical soil science, cumulus is the dark organic matter in soil that is formed by the decomposition of plant and animal matter. It is a kind of soil organic matter. It is rich in nutrients and retains moisture in the soil. Cumulus is the Latin word for earth or ground. Black soil is visible, which looks like cumus. But in these latitudes, there is no such layer of cumus. Narian Mar is located in the tundra zone in the Arctic territory with permafrost. It turns out that there was a large boat or a small ship on the bank of the ancient river, and it was covered by a mud flow. The very fact that the soil was here in such quantity indicates a serious mud flow. Experts who arrived at the site of the discovery found seven, found out that seven to 8,000 years ago, there was a riverbed here. Probably the waterway itself was even more ancient since permafrost has been advancing for tens of thousands of years. But this is not the most interesting thing in this story. So, among the black soil heap, scientists found the remains of an ancient boat or a small ship. The length of the discovery exceeded 10 meters. The vessel consisted of wooden parts fastened with iron nails, which immediately caused confusion among researchers. The fact is that the river was navigable at least 18 to 20,000 years ago when the permafrost had not yet completely bound these lands. But in those distant times, no one could create iron nails, according to the traditional science. And the boats themselves too. Is it possible to date the ship? Yes. The nails holding the body together are made of iron. So on the one hand, this suggests that the uh, discovery is only a few hundreds of years old. But on the other hand, the permafrost is tens of thousands of years. Either scientists will have to accept the hypothesis of the recent cataclysm and the formation of permafrost or shift the timing of the onset of the Iron Age. A th thorough analysis of the discovery presented even more mysteries.
It turned out that the ship was loaded with various ancient animals. Their bones were found among the wreckage. Moreover, quite diverse animals, beavers, foxes, wolves, and even mammoths. It was the latter, the latter that finally put scientists in a difficult position. The skeletal remains of these woolly elephants do not fit into the time periods when the iron nails were created. Further information about this discovery varies. According to one source, the age of the iron nails was set at 6,000 years, but others dated much earlier. What makes this artifact unique? Uh, because in those distant times, it was believed that metallurgy was not a developed industry. Moreover, the smelting of nails for the construction of something was not developed. In addition, the big question is how the ship ended up in the permafrost layer, which is tens of thousands of years old. Some kind of inconsistency with dates or general ideas about the Ice Age. And here's another hypothesis. The nails have been dated for tens of thousands of years, and this reverses the idea of ancient people. According to this hypothesis, at the time of the Cro-Magnon, uh, there was already a civilization on Earth that was ahead of them in development. In other words, in any case, the ship from Narian Mar does not fit into the traditional historical dogma. Anton Silanov, academician of the Russian Academy of Sciences, spoke about this discovery in the middle of 2022. This was his statement of the time. So far, we are not ready to give exhaustive comments on this find. Geological data indicate that at the time when the ship was in the ancient riverbed, there was a layer of several meters of permafrost. On the other hand, the iron objects of the artifact are unusual for that era. The discovery in Narian Mar is not just a mystery for scientists, but a real whodunit. Researchers continue to struggle to solve the mystery of the ship from Narian Mar. Perhaps uh, this is one of the first discoveries of an unknown civilization that used to exist there. The ancient legends of the northern people speak of the mythical uh, people or tribe of metallurgists. They lived in stone houses with furnaces where they could melt a variety of metals and combine them with each other. Who knows? Maybe these fairy tales are not fairy tales at all. Those who follow my research in the YouTube channel have seen and heard my investigation of the mysterious ancient metallurgists of Eurasia, of the vanished but highly developed um, skilled tribes of the ancient civilization in the Arctic, and of course the iron fish lurking in the cold waters of the Arctic seas, as told in Yakut legends. And I will bring more of the evidence for this in the future. I have no doubts that certain governments around the globe know more, but are very reluctant to share their information. What a pity. But if you like my research and can support me, please do so to the links you will see in the description to this video. Please like my videos and tell others about my channel. And thank you for your attention to my work.